you're watching Eyewitness News 2 with Eileen Robbie, meteorologist Frank Parsons, and sports with Tom Danford. Entrepreneur Marshall Walters has gone missing, as reported by his wife Abigail earlier today. Walters was the founder of Solomon Solutions, which announced early this month that it would be restating its earnings for the past year amidst accusations of wrongdoing. We'll have a full story at 10 o'clock. I'm Eileen Robbie with Eyewitness News 2. Thanks for watching. Good night. Clear. Hmm. So where are you headed? Oh, you know, I know a detective who's working on this Walters thing. I think I'm going to go talk to him. Okay. Well, back here by town. Sure thing. Okay. Bye. See ya. Okay, Mrs. Walters, um, I'm sure you've probably seen on the news the uh, rumors and the innuendos about your husband's business well, deal. Well, he wasn't involved with any of that, so. Of course not. I wasn't trying to imply he was, but uh, so do you, do you have any idea where your husband might have taken off to? Well, it was a Tuesday, so I assumed he was going to work. It, it was a normal day. Uh, no fights, disagreements, any problems between the two of you? No. Is there anything else you could maybe? I gave you everything I had uh, the first time you came here and talked to me, so I don't, no, nope, I. Right. Okay, well, if uh, there are any uh, further developments, I'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Howard. Ah, can't comment on this one, Eileen. You want to go grab a beer? Sure, why not? Hey, Quinn. <laughs> What's up, bro? Que pasa? <laughs> no, man, I just flew the coop. <sighs> oh. I cannot tell you what a relief it is, man. Oh, I got this place hooked up in Antigua. <laughs> I never have to hear from accountants or attorneys or that Abigail ever again, bro. Oh, man, I got that. I got that. Would you quit worrying about me? I'm going to be fine. Hey, listen, I got to go, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll call you when I get settled. Okay. Is it done? Good. Some guys get shot in the line of duty. I trip and fall and bang my knee. Oh. How about this Walters thing, anyway? Hmm? That'll be off the record. Well, all these rumors about embezzlement, and all of a sudden the guy just disappears? On the other hand, it leaves his wife in the lurch. Mm -hmm. And he had a $10 million life insurance policy out on him. So the guy's faking his own death? Well, you can't collect on that life insurance policy without a body. Oh. Makes my job easy. Well, how's that? Ah, simple. I just sit back and wait, relax, have a beer, 
If we find him and he's dead, then she did it. And if we don't find him, then he did it. Yeah, but what if the guy shows up and he's alive? Well, then they're both idiots. Help! 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 Anyone with information on the whereabouts of Marshall Walters should contact the police department immediately. And that's all for tonight. We'll see you in the morning for News 2 at 5 and 6. Good night. Clear. <sighs> hey, good show. Thanks. See you Monday. Oh, hold on. Need you back here. I need you to do that one. Okay. Really quick. Stay tuned for a live series. We interrupt our scheduled programming to report this breaking news. NASA has just announced that the rover Darwin has located life on the surface of Mars. We now take you live to a NASA press conference already in progress. Gulf Stream water, this land was made for you and me. As I went walking that ribbon of skyway, I saw above me the endless highway. I mean, I can't help you out. I found it. I mean, you have to be careful. I saw below me the endless valley. This land was made for you and me. This land was your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Gulf Stream waters to the Redwood Forest, this land was made for you and me. a series of questions. Question one. If... There's one. Where am I? Mars. Question two. When searching for water on the surface of the planet, do you dig deep or do you dig shallow? Can say that, I think. Why? It's a perfectly nice place. And now, doesn't bother you at all? No. No, it really doesn't. Oh, hi. Glad you could make it. 
Listen, listen, the, the Council of Elders are very excited to have the two of you here. They have jobs for you. And the pay is quite good. I used to work for the BBC. <laughs> Charmed, yes. Thank you. So when things really started getting bad, I just emptied the bank account and ran for it. I mean, I left my wife behind. I didn't like her anyway, though, so... Whatever. Listen, sometimes you just gotta make a fresh start. <laughs> this is the first time for me on this show. <laughs> anyway, it was nice meeting you. Marshal, question 10. I'm ready. What is the meaning of life? Don't get caught. Judges? <laughs> well, Marshal, the tallying is finished, and it turns out we can't tell whether you're smarter than a potato or not. So, on to the lightning round! Whatever you say. On my mark, Marshal. You must kill and eat the potato. No! If you can't do it, you will be packed in ice and shot into space. No! Properly on radar. Take us towards it. No! Oh, Marshal, there's uh, something I think you should see. What? Hello, thank you all for coming. Well, I know you all have a few questions, but we're all in a hurry, so I will be brief. I was successful in the contract murder of my husband, which means I will be getting a very large insurance settlement, and I'll take a few questions. Marshall Walters isn't dead. He's just on Mars. Well, after consulting with my legal team, we have determined that there is no real difference between being alive on Mars and dead on Earth. Well, I'll take one more question. Yes? This is a... Sorry, Ms. Walters, do you feel at all guilty about any of this? No. No, I feel very, very rich. Well, thank you all for coming. Uh, please don't mark up the floor. I just had it waxed. <clears throat> Abigail? She wanted the insurance money. She betrayed me! Just because we're tiny doesn't mean we're stupid, and we know good entertainment when we see it. No, it's wrong. I don't want anything to do with this. Just this one last thing, and then we can be done with it. Come on. Mr. Walters, I have here some correspondence from the Martians. Dear Marshall, thank you for a terrific program. We agree the only proper way to repay you is to make you our God. Please return to Earth, secure the knowledge, etc., etc., etc. You're the God of Mars. I'm going to kill that bitch. How did you... You see, the thing about potatoes is that 
We think we're so much smarter than they are because we say a hell of a lot more. But maybe they're smarter than us because they know when to keep their mouths shut. Abigail, I want a divorce. <laughs> now that I'm alive again, you're going to owe a lot of money to the insurance company. And Marshall Walters is a real son of a bitch, eh? I suppose. Did you ever get the... Uh, no. What? Nah. Oh, come on. It's just the two of us here. You can tell me. What is it? Do you ever get the idea we're just being fucked with? No, no comment. No comment. I, I told you people everything I had to say at the courthouse.